Welcome to the New Jersey Institute of Technology website and math podcast. My name is Matan, and today I will be covering the topic of negative and zero exponents. An exponent does not need to be positive. An exponent can be zero, or a negative number. For example, the problem 5 to the zero. Now, 5 multiplied by itself zero times is a hard problem to figure out on its own. However, the rule for zero exponents is very simple. Any number to the power of zero is equal to one. Five to the zero is equal to one. Negative three to the zero is equal to one. Twelve to the zero is equal to one. There is one exception. Zero to the power of zero is undefined. And is the only number to which the power of zero is not equal one. Negative exponents indicate a reciprocal. For example, 2 to the power of negative 3. This is the reciprocal of 2 to the 3. Which is 1 eighth. Some further examples. Negative 5 to the power of negative 2. This is the reciprocal of negative 5 to the power of 2 which is 1 over negative 5 times negative 5, which is equal to 1 over 25. As with positive exponents, we must be careful when the base, whether the ba to see whether the base is negative or whether the negative sign is outside of the exponent. So negative 5 to the negative 2 with no parentheses is negative, the reciprocal of 5, to the power of 2, which is negative 1 over 5 times 5, which is negative 1 over 25. Finally, with fractions, negative 2 to the negative 3, 2 thirds to the negative 3 is the reciprocal of 2 thirds to the power of 3. We'll discuss how to take the exponent of a fraction in a later podcast. Thank you for visiting the New Jersey Institute of Technology website. If you need any further assistance, stop by the Center for Academic and Professional Enrichment in Kupferian Hall, room 200. Good luck in your studies.